Hi, I'm Nicole. Welcome to Ergonomic Fitness on IC Digital. Today I'm doing a 45 minute low impact HIIT workout. 3 minute warm up, 26 exercises, and a 3 minute cool down. 60 seconds work and 30 seconds rest. You're ready, I'm ready, let's go. Starting 45 minute low impact HIIT workout. Before we start, I want to make sure that you have everything we need. Grab a towel, grab some water, and I'm using a step stool, but you can use a chair or your couch or a table, coffee table, whatever you have at home. Um, if you need to stop the video in between, feel free to do that. You can move slower or faster. This is just a suggestion. Um, don't be scared. If you haven't worked out for a while, um, this is very good. It's a low impact workout. Um, I'm very proud of you that you actually that you actually been doing this. Um, we start we just starting now. So we're doing a um, a warm up. I want you to use your um, step stool. We'll do a, uh, we do some stretching before we start. We want to make sure to have proper range of motion. Um, especially if you haven't worked out for a while, um, we do some static stretching in the, in the beginning and some um, static stretching at the end. I want you to have your hands on the couch or use a step stool or chair. Shift your weight back towards your heels. This is a downward dog stretch. You are stretching out your hamstrings, your, so your calf, your hamstrings, your back. Make sure your back is completely straight. Shift your weight back towards your heels. Um, if you are using a step stool and you still can keep your back straight, use something um, higher um, where you have your hands maybe in this position, but make sure your back is completely straight. And then come up and then use the wall. We're doing a calf stretch. Have your back leg completely straight. On your front leg is very little weight, and then you want, and I want you to bend your knee a little bit, so the stretch moves further down into your tendon here. You might have to move around a little bit um, in this position um, to feel the stretch, and then you switch legs, keep your legs straight, and then we'll wait for about 15 seconds, and then we're going to bend our knee. And then we bend our knee. So you might have to shift your hip back a little bit to be able to bend your knee or change the position a little bit. As long as you feel stretch in your calves, that's all like in your lower, in your lower um, Achilles tendon, that's then then you're good. Then we're using our um, step stool again, chair, couch, whatever. Place your hands on your forward, shift your hip down towards, towards the ground, keep a 90 degree angle in your knee, so you should feel stretch in your hip flexor, and I want you to move your arm up, and then we'll switch sides. Good, I'm turning around. Shift your weight forward, move your arm up. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to it. Um, if you like us, um, check out our um, Patreon's website to support us, to keep our channel going. So the first exercise will be um, we are um, stepping side to side and we're moving our arms up. Try to drink as much water as possible. So I have one bottle here, so this bottle should be, should be gone by the end of the, uh, of the workout. And then you can move your arms back and forth.
to explain the next exercise. Have some water in between. So we're doing a single leg stand. I want you to have your weight on the inside of your foot. Try to place your weight on the inside of your foot here in the front and then the outside here. So three point position. Here, here and here. So if you do that, you have your, your, your um, arches coming up and you have a better alignment in your knees. So for people with knee problems, this is a great exercise to do. So I want you to stand on one leg, have your chest up, lift up your leg as high as you can, at least a 90 degree angle, and just balance. And if this is easy, you can move your arms up and shock. And then we'll switch legs. Good. Three point position here, here, here. Make sure your knees facing forward. Lift up the opposite leg as high as possible, balance and then shock. So you should feel this in your foot because your arch is working in your ankle eventually and underneath your foot. It's all good because you need that to strengthen your, um, to strengthen your arch to develop proper biomechanics. Keep your knees slightly bent and then you rest. Relax. So if you want to do this again, stop the video and then do this exercise again if it was too short um, and then you can continue. We're doing um, squats. That's the next exercise. So proper squat, keep your knees behind your toes. Make sure when you draw a line from your kneecap, the knee, the line should be just a little bit behind your toes. Make sure your back is completely straight. Draw your navel in, chin is slightly tucked in, and you just hold this position. Rep one of one. Set three. Have your arms in front of you, and then you come up. Keep 50% weight on each leg. If you have a mirror where you can watch yourself, that would be great. So make sure um, that your both, both knees are facing forward. Keep your chin slightly tucked in. And you can hold this position. You feel some burn in your legs. It's good to work your quads. Hold this position. And then come up. And then do it again. Try to go a little lower this time. We have 10 seconds go to go. Come up. Down again. Hold this. You can do this. Hold it for a few more seconds. And come up. Relax. So, then we're doing a lunge. I am placing my left foot in front. 50% weight is on each leg. I have my knee, my hip, and my shoulder in line. My heel is facing up towards the ceiling. And I have either my arms here or here. And you go straight down, so center of gravity is right between your front and your back leg. Rep one so make sure your knee is not sticking too much forward. The same. So if you, if you have a mirror in front of you, a, a mirror, just do the exercise in front of a mirror, you can watch yourself. Your front knee should be facing forward. Always keep in mind you have this three point um, position that is good, that's better for your knee. So your knee does, you don't want to have your knee turning in because people with knee problems, they get in trouble. So hold it, come up, and then we switch legs. So you can go down as low as possible, draw your navel in, go down, hold it, come up, and again, hold it. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed, keep breathing. We have five seconds to go, and then come up, and again, good, relax, rest. We are kneeling, have your hands right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath your hips. Chin is slightly tucked in, keep your back completely straight, try to imagine you have a tray um, resting on your back. So if you come up with your knees, that's what I would like you to do, you should be able to still carry the, the tray on your back. 
Keep your elbows tight and bent. Hold this. You feel this in your core and in your quads. Keep breathing. You're doing a great job. If you need to rest, come down, breathe, and then come up again. Hold this. Make sure you don't hold on to your breath. We have 30 seconds to go. Come down, catch your breath, and then come up again. Down, and up. So you should have about 50% weight on your hands and 50% weight is on your feet. I know your quads are burning. This is good. Yeah. And rest. Relax. Then um, we're doing something more active to keep your heart rate up. We're doing a jumping jack. some water. And go. Rep one of one. Set six. So we do this for a minute, but you are welcome to pause in between. You can move your arms up this way, so you're pushing, just imagine you're pushing something up towards the ceiling. We have 30 seconds to go. Standing leg, 
Keep your knees slightly bent, your knees facing forward. We are changing sides, switching sides. Have your back straight, chest is up. Put your leg back down. Hold this position. You feel that in your glutes as well. Oops. Hold it down and again up. Relax. Have some water. So you're placing one foot in front. I would like you to do this for this movement. Down here and then come up. There's only a very little weight on your back leg. You're just tapping with your back leg. Left leg in front, my right arm is in front. Come up. Set nine. If you lose your balance, you can do um, a step in between from here, up, and then come up. Tap, up. Tap, up. Or if it's easy, you can do one movement. We'll switch sides. Twenty seconds to go.
squats. We're doing squats and then we're raising our legs. Alternating. So squat either here or here. And I would like you to move your leg up. Squat and switch. Okay? Rep one of one. Set 12. Almost halfway through. So one leg up, squat. Up here, squat. Squat. If you need to make a side step, go this way. And then raise your leg, put it back on the floor, and then you squat. Come up here, up, tap, squat, tap, up. Or if this is easy, you can raise your leg right away. You have 20 seconds to go. Keep your chin slightly tucked in.
and then move your feet slightly forward, raise your toes, bring your hips down and then bring your hips up, tapping with your butt down on the floor and then you come up again. We have about 20 seconds to go. Or the day after, 
but I would like you to um, do all exercises if possible. And don't skip any. Yes? Relax. Um. Then we're doing lunges and squat in one as a bit, I mean, we're doing a lunge and then a squat. Lunge and squat. So you can go slow. Rep one Proper one. form, 50% weight on each eight. leg, draw your navel in, go down, come up, both feet next to each other, squat, come up, put your foot back, do your lunge. And then we'll switch legs. We have 20 seconds to go. So your legs are slightly wider than hips width apart. 10 seconds. You're doing great. A few seconds left. Good, best. Relax. So, you can use your step stool, your chair, or your couch, or your coffee table. I am going down as slow as possible in the squat. I have my hands placed, resting on whatever you use. Um, have your back completely straight. One one. And I want you to raise one arm at a time. I don't want to see this, okay? Keep your back completely straight. The higher you elevate your arms, the easier it is. So, um, I, I'll do it from here. But if you raise your arm and you start doing this, you have to come up a little higher. Keep your knees behind your toes. You have, I know that you have some burning, you feel some burn in your thighs. That's what I want. And at the same time, you're working your lower back and your upper back as well and your arms. It's a very effective exercise. Come up, rest, keep breathing. We'll do this one more time. Go low, arms resting. Move your arms up, alternating. We have. Eight seconds to go, keep your chin slightly tucked in. And rest. Relax. Good. Then we're doing a single leg thing. I'm, um, my other leg is up in the air and slightly in front of me. Um, you can use either whatever you have, use a, um, if you have tiles or a wood floor, make sure you can, you can see, um, Rep one and one. try to position yourself in this way you can one. actually see that your leg is in front. So here, that way you have, you're able to keep your core 100% engaged without arching. So don't go this way, so keep your leg always sliding in front, leaning forward. And then I want you to bring your knee towards your elbows. Keep your form here, knees facing forward. Think about this three point, um, three point position. Switch legs. The further you lean sideways, the more challenging it is. You should feel it in your hips, you should feel it in your stomach, in your obliques, and you should feel it in your leg where you're standing on and in your arch in your foot. So if you want to do this exercise again, um, you're welcome to do that. Um, if it was too short, otherwise we'll continue and we'll be going towards the next exercise. We're doing a side plank. I have my hand on the floor 
elbows slightly bent, my fingers are facing slightly forward or to the side, and I want you to raise your leg here. You can bring it down, rest, and then lift it up again. Your shoulder should be completely relaxed. Rep one of one. Set 22. We're almost done. We have a few more exercises to go. Hold this position. Put your foot down. This exercise you should feel like down here, all the parts that are facing the mat and in your upper leg here. I know it burns. Put your leg down and raise it again. And then we'll switch sides. Down, up. We have 20 seconds to go. Correct your form, make sure your shoulder is back. Don't hunch over. Put it back on the floor and then raise it again. 10 seconds. Good, rest. Relax. Hmm. We'll kneel. So you should feel this excess in your whole torso, legs, glutes, stomach, back, and of course in your arms. We have 30 seconds to go. The further you lean back, the more challenging it is. Lean back, chop. more seconds to go. You should feel, you feel it in your hip flexors and rest. Relax. Stay on the floor. We're doing um, a plank on our forearms. My elbows are underneath my shoulders. Squeeze your knees together. Squeeze your glutes. Your, your um, lower back should be neutral. No arching, okay? Draw your knee in, one. chin is slightly tucked in. Hold this position as long as you can with proper form. And then you rest. As soon as you feel, you start feeling, uh, as soon as you feel 
that you would start compensating, rest. So compensating means your shin would be sticking forward and you would arch in your cervical spine or you would drop your, drop your stomach. So every time you start doing that, you have to rest. Otherwise, you will put a lot of pressure on your uh, discs and you have your upper cervical spine has a lot of compression. That's not good. So, a few seconds rest and then you go back into the plank again. Count your press. So that way you can see how much progress you make. If you do this again, this video, um, if you do this a few times, you will see you, make, you will make a lot of progress within a short period of time. Okay, we have one more exercise to go. We are um, standing. We're doing the side to side hop, or we do the side to side step. Stabilize on one leg, lift up your leg, hold this. So if this is easy, you can hop. Hop. But I want you to hold this position for about one second, so make sure you're stable. Set 26. Before you move to the other leg. Use your couch, step stool, whatever you have. Put your hands back here. Legs out. Raise your chest. And bring your leg, move your legs out as far as possible. You should feel some nice stretch in your inner thighs and eventually in your um, shoulder blades and in your front here. Twenty seconds.
Okay. Then we'll stretch our quads. Knee in. If you can, move your arm. Raise your arm. Sorry, grab your foot, ankle, and then hold this position. Keep your knee above your ankle. Switch sides. Workout finished. We're almost done. 10 seconds to go. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Like us if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and um, let me know how how much progress you may made with this video. Um, yeah, and I hope I see you soon again. Bye.